Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into episode number 65 of our Let's Play Clash Royale series on Chief Pat 2, where we finally have one of our rare cards to upgrade to tournament standard. I've been waiting for this moment forever, and unfortunately, the card that I'm going to be upgrading has been nerfed twice since I started upgrading it, but it's going to be the Mega Minion, and let's go ahead and get it up to level 7, which is going to give us a nice little chunk of XP of 200 right there towards level 9, and uh, there you go. That's going to be our first rare card up to tournament standard. Obviously, our commons are there, and our rares are making their way. I forgot to request an epic on Epic Sunday, or our golem would be level 4. Really really frustrating i looked at 12 15 a.m basically so 15 minutes after you could request an epic i looked a little bit too late after i got home from my flight anyways let's get into a couple of battles using our brand new level 7 mega minion and see if we can cheese out some victories using it it should be better taking out some higher level archers a little bit more hp when dealing with minion hordes minions and stuff like that and obviously just more damage in general which is really what we're looking for and uh, let's go ahead and pl keep playing this golem deck here and we're going to start off against a level 5 giant skeleton. Well, this isn't normally what you would see, but let's go ahead and try to defend against it. We've got skeletons everywhere. He's got an executioner. Is this the first time I've played on this account since the executioner came out? I think it is. And I'm going to do something strange right here. I'm going to use my golem. And maybe somehow, some way, we can use the golem on defense against all of this. Okay, he's got the... Uh, He's got the tornado. I'm going to lightning everything. And maybe, just maybe, this will work out. Okay, so I don't even know what we... We just played a golem tornado on defense. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do inside of Clash Royale. This dude is using an OP combo, though. He's using Executioner. He's using the Electro Wizard plus Tornado. Plus, oh, he has a Sparky, too. Okay, well, Sparky's not OP, but I have no idea how we're going to beat this guy. Uh, I'm just going to throw that out there right now. We might be playing for a tie because this is going to be pretty difficult. Let's get our Tombstone going down against that Sparky. Maybe he'll play a Giant Skeleton in front of it. Honestly, I wouldn't really mind too much if he did. And as everything starts making their way, there's the Giant Skeleton. I'll play some minions, another Executioner. We literally have nothing to deal with this Executioner. I have no clue what we're going to do to deal with it. I'm going to zap the Sparky. I guess it really wasn't too big of a deal. Mega Minion's going to kill the Executioner. Skeleton Army actually is going to get away. And we did some damage on the left-hand tower, so at least we did some damage. And Okay, he played an Electro Wizard. I was about to say we were going to get out with only... Or we're going to get out with some skeleton damage there, but look at this Electro Wizard. It's going to start charging down my archers, and I guess we really just have to get our golem down if we want to win this game. I know I should be playing for the tie, but playing for a tie is never really fun. Let's get ready to drop our golem. I'm going to do it down the left-hand side since he is so committed to going down the right. He has an Inferno Dragon 2. Are you serious? This dude has a... He has a nice deck. Anyways... Let's keep playing. I've got minions going down. I've got all this doing work. Okay, obviously Skeleton Army's about to take some pain right here. I'll drop my lightning spell. Maybe we can get some good value here. Mega Minion's gonna go down. Golem's doing an okay job. Please kill that Sparky. Okay, we killed the Sparky. Golem's doing work. Let's go, Golem. All right, Golem, I see you. Golem's doing a nice little job right now. I've got the Tombstone going down, which should be able to survive a little bit. He's got a bomb tower, which is so crazy tanky. Uh, we're gonna take the tower down to 1300, but... Who knows how much farther we're going to be able to get it down. All right, tower is down to 1,240. Honestly, not too bad. That was our first push down the left-hand lane. So maybe we have a chance, but the bomb tower, I'm telling you guys, the bomb tower is going to be so, so ridiculously tough to deal with. I guess we can go for maybe uh, this. Maybe we can go for... Okay, that's going to happen there. Let's go for this here. We're going to zap the Inferno Dragon. All right, there's the zap. And get ready for it. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. There's the lightning spell. Golem's going to explode in a moment. Golem's going to do plenty of damage. Are we going to pick up a win against this dude and all of his crazy cards? I feel like we might. 108 HP left on the tower. 12 HP. That's going to be the end of the game. Somehow, some way, we're going to pick up a victory against the OP Electro Wizard and Executioner combination. That guy had so many crazy cards inside of his deck and we're still going to pick up the win. That'll be a crown towards the crown chest. 3,083 trophies. Not too bad. Let's keep going against Click. And uh, don't let your dreams be dreams, guys. Sometimes, even though you feel like you have no shot whatsoever, just wait for your opponent. Sometimes they'll make mistakes. In his case, he just had to play his Executioner on defense. Watch me lose because of this Golem. Okay, he's going to play a Tombstone. Um, sometimes you just have to let your opponents make, make mistakes. Don't let your dreams be dreams. 
And uh, let's go ahead and go with the Skeleton Army here. All right, Skeleton Army. Zap's going to go down as well. Skeletons are cleaning up the mini P.E.K.K.A. That'll be a great trade for us. Okay, he's got a an Inferno Dragon. Please target a minion. Okay, targeted a minion, but honestly, how much time is that going to give us to save our golem? I don't think we're really going to have much time. The golem will pop and kill the skeletons, and then our archers can go on a little counter push after killing that big fat inferno dragon. But as far as actual damage getting done, uh, I'm not too sure. The archers are going to get distracted with the skeletons. We're going to get one, two, okay, one archer hit. All that hard work, and we're going to get one archer hit off on that tower. Not a not the definitely best thing in the world. All right, so I feel like we have to play for double elixir. We have to have our golem and our lightning spell to kill that inferno dragon or else there's really no point. He's got a lava hound. All righty then. Okay, this is gonna be really tough. Um, our mega minion is really, we have to use our mega minion to kill his uh, inferno dragon, I guess. Here goes our tombstone as well. Um, I'm gonna play my mega minion now, even though I don't want to. I really don't want to, but that's gonna let my baby dragon do work right here. All right, not my baby dragon, it's gonna let my mega minion do work. Oh guys, we are in a load of trouble right now. And I have a feeling things are about to get worse. His tombstone single-handedly took out our uh, our golem right there and check out the damage he's about to do. Please don't lock on, oh, Inferno Dragon locked on. All right, we're gonna take a lot of damage there. I've got to uh, also kill this Inferno Dragon so he doesn't three crown me. And now that we made double elixir, you know what I should have done? This was, it'd be such a lame way to play the game, but I should have just not played a golem until there was double elixir. I should have just skipped the golem, said, hey, I don't need a golem. I don't need that to live my life. I'm just gonna do my thing. And I might have been okay. Maybe I wouldn't have lost my tower. Okay, I probably still would have lost my tower, but and I wouldn't have been so soul crushing. Let's get ready with our archers. We're gonna need a lightning down his Inferno Dragon pretty soon. You know he's gonna play his Inferno Dragon. There it goes right there. We can get the, both of the dragons as well as that, uh, as well as that. Let's play our Zap spell. Inferno Dragon is still alive though. So we're gonna get some damage, but it's not gonna be enough to really make a difference. Skeleton army is going to help out, but guys, with only 11 seconds left on the clock, I don't think there's too much we can do. Maybe we would have had a chance if we played a little bit more defensively early in the battle, but still, look at all these dragons this dude has. Is this a clickbait video with too many dragons? Okay, well, he had four dragons on our side of the base. Good game, well played against the click. And uh, yeah, a little bit more defensively if we're going against a two-level deficit right there, but still, not too shabby. Let's go ahead and go into battle number three and see if we can turn this one around. All right, level nine might be a little bit more manageable, but you never know. And uh, again, faced with what we should do to start, the golem is such an aggressive play to play off the bat. I feel like maybe defensively feel out my opponent, see what he's got to play. He's got an ice golem, so probably a hog rider to follow up, or maybe a balloon, uh, a musketeer, okay. That's an interesting follow-up to an ice goal. We can obviously use our mega. We actually have a higher level rare than someone. Is this real life? We have a higher level rare than someone we're playing in Clash Royale. Very nice with that level 7 Mega Minion. Making big moves already. It's going to float to the tower before it inevitably gets shot down. And he's going to play an Inferno Tower? So I'll play my Golem. Of course, you know, the Golem or the Inferno Tower counters the Golem. But look how fat and slow my Golem is. By the time it makes it to his Inferno Tower, it's going to be at half HP. And I can use a combination of my minions. I can use a combination of my Zap Spell or even my Lightning Spell to take out everything in its tracks. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Lightning Spell is going to go down right now. That's going to clear everything up. Minions to follow up my Golem. I'm not sure what he's going to use to try to take me out right here. Skeletons will be okay. Let's, let's zap. I'm not going to be the most accurate with the zap, but it's going to give my golem one and two hits against the tower. That's a nice little zap right there. That's an extra like 400 damage maybe. And uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty good. We're looking really nice right now as far as what card I want to I want to play next. Okay, we need to play our archers under the graveyard. Then we've got the mega minion to deal with the musketeer. Very nicely done. Log's going to go down. Well, the log killed my archers. Okay, Log's going to kill my archers. Are we going to play anything to counter it, though? No, we're not going to. We're going to let the graveyard do its thing. And now we know what this dude's win condition is. He wants to drop his ice golem as a tank and then his graveyard. So once you figure out how your opponent's going to play your game, you're going to be in a much better position. And uh, let's go ahead and get ready again. But, hmm, I'm going to play my tombstone first. So by the time I play this golem, it's going to set us up going into uh, double elixir. Even if he plays this Inferno Tower, we're going to be making way more Elixir now. We're going to have our tank uh, with our Golem. We're going to have our Lightning Spell. There goes his Ice Wizard. Let's see if he learned his lesson or if he's just going to go ahead and try to be all crazy again. There goes his Inferno Tower. That Inferno Tower actually is going to be out of radius. 
So I'm not sure what he's doing. All right, there goes the graveyard. I've got a nice counter set up for it already. Fireball's going to go down, but that can't hit everything I have. No way, no. How can I play the Skeleton Army to distract for my Golem right here? Look at this. Look at this combination. The Inferno Tower is so distracting. I'm actually going to play a Golem on the other side of the map because I feel like this side is already dead. The Golem's going to lock on. That tower's getting low. It's going to do its explosion damage. And with 206 HP left, take a look. 14 damage. Okay. Maybe we can try to go for a second crown, and hopefully this guy gives up. But uh, that's really all I'm playing for right now. Okay, Tombstone. We'll play our minions for the graveyard. I'm going to play this. Is there a way to, like, time a lightning spell and a zap spell to get both crowns at once? I'm, I'm asking you guys. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Right. Let's see if I'm good enough to zap at the same time and get two crowns. I'm not that good, though. Okay, I'm definitely not that good. If that would have been cool if that was able to happen. We're going to have 14 HP left on the tower. That's going to be GG well played. 30 more trophies. Another clan crown from my clan. We're at 7 out of 10. And why not play one more battle and see if we can keep it open. We lost one. We won two. So we're either going to go 500. We're going to have a winning spree for the day. Not too bad. Not too bad. We're going to be playing Professor X. And as seeing as we have no archers, we have no golem. Obviously, the golem still isn't the best start. And this tombstone might have been too late to where... Okay. Uh... No, that's going to be fine. Okay, he's going to play his Fireball. Hmm. I'll play my Golem, actually. Let's play our Golem. He's invested 8 Elixir. We've invested 3. So we have a 5 Elixir advantage. Look at that math right there, guys. Uh, but this level 8 Furnace is obviously going to be such a pain. And this deck is really bad against Furnace. Um, because we have minions, we have Skeleton Army, we have Archers, we have Mega Minion. All those cards really aren't that great. Okay, he's going to do that. Let's go ahead and get ready with our... I'm actually going to use our lightning spell. I'm not going to hit the tower either. I'm going to hit both of the archers. I'm going to do that strategically. I don't know if it's necessarily worth it, but normally I would hit the tower. But let's see if we can switch it up a little bit. There goes the mega minion taking care of the golemites. I've got my archers helping out against that mega minion. And then they're going to retarget to the tower. And we are chunking that tower down so well. And uh, yeah, things are looking really good. I'll let that furnace damage slip in the other side. Obviously, I don't want this... Um, I don't want this Mega Minion taking my Tombstone out for free. All right, there goes my Tombstone. He might play a Fireball again. There goes his Hog Rider. Actually, we didn't even need to play that Mega Minion. That was sort of silly. I think we would have been A-OK, -okay, even without the Mega Minion. All right, Mega Minion's going to still do moves. Maybe. Nope, it's not going to avoid any of the Fire Spirits. Way to go, Mega Minion. Way to hold things down. Way to be a true friend. And uh, now we don't really have a great counter to what he's throwing at us. We've got a... Uh, We've got a lot of cards we've got to deal with. I'm going to just let that Ice Golem do its thing. Then minions over the top to kill these archers. Okay, wait. Those archers are way stronger than what I thought they would be. All right. We're going to take a little too much damage there for my liking. A couple of arrows. Maybe that'll make it so our Mega Minion survives. But we have to go on the offensive, guys. We've been playing on defense this entire time due to this furnace. We're going to lose this tower, actually. Oh, it's going to be down to 129 HP, which means he can just play that one fireball he's been playing against us. And he's going to be A-OK. -okay. All right, Tombstone's going to go down now. Fire Spirit's going to redirect to the Golem. Let's go ahead and Lightning down these Archers here. As well as that right there. Here goes this. Hog Rider's going to go down. I don't really care about the Hog Rider, to be honest. Let's just let that Hog Rider do its thing. Now we've got the Archers. We've got the Golem. He's got so much stuff right here. I'm going to go ahead and reset this Mega Minion just so we can maybe kill it. We didn't end up killing it. The Golem's going to explode in a moment. Please, minions, do enough damage. Please, minions, do enough damage. Lightning spell is going to go down. Lightning spell on the tower. The archer, the archer, the golemite. Punch that tower. Please punch that tower. Please punch that tower, golemite. Golemite, why do you do this to me? Please punch that tower. We need to get to the very end. Here comes the hog rider. We can't play our skeleton army. We have to zap his tower. We have to zap his tower. Our tower is so low, it's at 855. Do we go for the win? You guys know we don't play for the tie. We're going to go for the win, and we're going to lose because of it. I shouldn't have played that golem, guys. I'm being 100% honest. That golem was a crazy person talk right there. Let's go ahead and drop our archers to help out. Here comes this hog rider. Here comes our skeleton army. Maybe that can help out. I'm going to zap everything. I really have to be so good on defense. Maybe the hog rider. Only one hit from the hog rider. Archers are going to go. Here we go. There goes, this might be our chance if we pull this off right now. This is going to be crazy. Mega Minions going down. Here goes our Minions to help out against the Golem. Don't let those Fire Spirits come out. Do not let those Fire Spirits come out. Here we go. Archer's going down. Look at our push. This Hog Rider's going crazy. He is nuts. He's out of his mind. His, his Hog Rider's taking so much damage. He's going to throw his log. Lightning spell is going to go down. That's going to be GG. Well played. Woo! Professor X. Good luck. Good game. 29 trophies. 
very, very nice win, a fitting way to hit 3,114. And that's gonna be pretty nice for us. That's actually our highest trophy record. Uh, we just came back very nicely inside of that battle. To the very end, we held out on defense. We were the Alamo, we held it down, guys. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it until the very last battle. So much fun to play. If you guys are liking this series, make sure you drop that like button. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.